how much to modulate? You know, a bhajan could be in shruti, it could be in tala, it could be, you know, for example, uh, a, you know, a bhajan like this. Daya karo shiva karo kadhari. Sorry for the. No, perfect. Perfect shruti. Perfect you. You tell me what is wrong. Yeah, but does it sound good? There's nothing wrong with the person. Same thing, if I'm able to sing. Right? I'm just modulating my voice. No, so this modulation also is so important. Again, every bhajan you should not sing like this. For example, if there is some bhajan like Sai Hamara Hamsa, very good. Oh, this is over modulation. Where you need that punch, where you need to give punch, where you don't need the punch is what you need to. So that voice modulation is important. Another aspect in singing is, yeah, you are a trained singer, so I I can do a lot of things in the bhajan. But then bhajan, as we know it, is for people to follow. See, sankirtana is where we have pe people following us. So we are not giving a performance. So, for example, a bhajan like this now. Hari gun gaan karo man meru Sai gun gaan karo man meru I'm sure nobody is going to enjoy this. Sai gun gaan karo man meru Sai gun gaan this way you're not distracting your Sai Gona. You're not doing too much. I mean, for a bhajan which people are going to follow, this much is not necessary. For example, you know, He Vishwanath, He Gaurinath, He Sainath, Bhagavad, Daya Karo, Daya Karo, Daya karo bhagavan Here I am begging for Daya I am like a beggar who has gone in front of a in front of my lord with a begging bow saying Bhagavan, mujh pe daya kar Now imagine, I go Daya karo Daya It's like you know, I am going, I am a beggar I am going with a posh bow Bhagavan, daya kar na I am a big man. I am a big man. My begging style is also so professional. It doesn't sound good. We are asking for mercy of the Lord. So we should know how much to give. It will sound good musically. But the bhava aspect is not good. So that's the other thing about modulation. The, yeah, the, uh, the other thing is the emphasis on the words. You know, different bhajans will have different words. Uh, and I think you have to be very, very careful of, of how to emphasize on the right words and how not to emphasize on the wrong words. So here are a few examples of, uh, you know, how not to emphasize on the wrong words. For example, Raghavasundara Right? In this Ravana Mardana Vigna Bhanjana Our second line will be Ravana Mardana Where are we giving emphasis? On Ravana? The bhajan is on Rama And we are giving Ravana Mardana so there Swami, you know, stopped and he says, hey, Ravana. <laughs> so it should be, Ravana Mardana, Ravana Mardana, Vigna Bhanjana. See, again, the wrong word, you know, we are emphasizing on the wrong word. The, in the very same version, there is another example, where Swami has stopped boys when they are saying, Ravana Mardana, Vigna Bhanjana. Swami asked, what is Vigna? <laughs> it is Vigna Bhanjana. Vigna is obstacle. Ravana Mardana Vigna Bhanjana Vigna Bhanjana Another again uh, 